Enough to top today's weather with bright sunshine, pleasant temperatures and low humidity. This afternoon, thermometer readings climbed to about seasonal average. Our high 71 after we started off this morning at 52. Of course, no rain, just scattered cloud cover with that ample sunshine today. Our monthly rainfall total 3.05 inches. We're going to add a little bit to that tomorrow as a weak disturbance moves in. For now, though, still bright and sunny along I-75. We can see that sunshine filled sky, just a couple of fair weather clouds mixing with the sun, and it looks as though at least through this evening we will stay precipitation free. Most, if not all of tonight, looks rain free as well. It's been sunny, some scattered clouds beginning to move in now from the west ahead of our next weather maker, and that will generate some showers tomorrow. As we widen up the view, we can see a storm system now situated over eastern Nebraska, western portions of the state of Iowa. As this translates to the east over the next 24 hours. Clouds will thicken. Eventually we'll see some rain showers. It does look as though the activity will be mostly on the light side. So keep the rain gear handy tomorrow, but it doesn't look as though we'll see anything too long lasting or too intense in terms of rainfall. Temperatures lower 70, 72 now in Delphus. It's 72 in Wapakoneta, 72 as well, a popular number across the board as we take a look to the northwest in Paulding. Dew point temperatures very low in the 40s, even upper 30s. So with this being the case, the atmosphere very, very dry and we don't have any humidity really to speak of, certainly very low humidity levels. That will remain the case through tonight. Humidity increases a bit tomorrow, but we're going to notice the muggy factor for sure as we head into our Friday. Skycast through this evening, clear to partly cloudy conditions will become partly to mostly cloudy, but importantly, we're going to stay dry. Later tonight, clouds begin to thicken. Here's tomorrow morning, 6 a.m., a mostly cloudy sky, but at least according to this model, still precipitation free. I can't rule out a sprinkler or a stray shower by daybreak, but most areas stay dry. Better bet for rain during the day tomorrow, especially into tomorrow afternoon. Showers move in with that disturbance, stopping the clock at 4 p.m., showers covering a good portion of our area. That rain will retreat to the east tomorrow night, though, and Thursday clouds and some sunshine in the morning. More in the way of sunshine for our Thursday afternoon. With the wind turning to the south and west, temperatures will climb nicely, likely to near 80 degrees. So quite a bit warmer for Thursday, warmer still as we move ahead into our Friday. Temperatures this evening falling back through the 60s, and by 9 p.m. we're down to 64 degrees in Lima, 63 for Salina. 50s should do it after midnight tonight. We'll start off at 53 in Bluffton, 54 in Lima early tomorrow morning. Then even with clouds, we warm back into the upper 60s to briefly near 70 for a high, and those temperatures aren't going to move much for tomorrow night. Humidity values, of course, very low today, increasing a bit for tomorrow, but nothing we can't handle. It does turn very humid by Friday as that south wind brings in humidity from the southern states, then showers and storms Saturday, and we lose the humidity by Sunday. Increasing clouds, pleasant for tonight. We drop back to 53 for a low. Clouds tomorrow with occasional rain showers, especially in the afternoon, 70 are predicted high. Seven-day storm authority forecast for Thursday, partly sunny, warmer, 80 degrees, 89 the call for Friday with sunshine, higher humidity levels, maybe a late day storm, most of the day dry, rain and storms for Saturday with the front, then we're cooler again, 60s for highs on Sunday and Monday. Jessica.